Hi, good morning. This is our second um, meditation in English um, on this series of uh, meditations on grace during this time of quarantine. And today I would like to share with you in John chapter 5, verse 5. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. 38 years. So Jesus is back in Jerusalem for uh, the text doesn't tell us which one of the the, the Jewish feasts, feasts it was, but it uh, it is it could be Passover, and why he's there? He's going to this place that normally he shouldn't be going as a, as a rabbi, as a religious man. It's a place of full of um, ill illnesses, full of uh, people who are who have been there for for ages. Like this man, he was at this place for thirty eight years. We don't know if he was thirty years old years old or if uh, he's been ill for 38 years but it's a long time isn't it to be in a place like this and there was a belief that uh, people believed that um near the swimming pool in bethesda uh there was there was an angel came down and uh, and the and there was a movement in the water and the first person who went into the water was healed we don't john doesn't tell us that if anyone ever got uh, healed there but there's a I mean when you're desperate you just go anywhere you try anything to be healed but Jesus went there grace went there on our first meditation on grace um, we, 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 are, we are trying to understand what grace really means in the Bible what, what, what it really mean and uh, means and uh, we we came we found this expression this word in the old testament that means to bend to stoop and i, I was talking about the queen you know when when the when the anyone in in the in england in, in britain bows to the queen that's that's normal but if the queen one day is walking in her garden in buckingham palace and she sees uh, a gardener and then he, she goes to him and bows to him that's grace jesus is bowing to these people in this swimming pool and the interesting thing is that he heals the heals the man and then he disappears he's not even saying hello i'm here i have just healed this man hallelujah praise me no not nothing of that he just leaves it's actually some some religious people who knew this man had been ill for so long come to see the man and ask him who healed you? But the man didn't even know. But the problem is, he was on a Sabbath day. And there are some grace killers all over the, everywhere. Instead of praising God for the miracle, they wanted to know who did that. Because you don't heal a person on the Sabbath day. Later on, this man will see Jesus in the temple. Do you realize that the man is in the temple now? If he was 30 years, years old... He had never been to the temple before, and he's there now, and Jesus is there to meet him and to tell him that it was him who healed him. And Jesus said, is going to tell this man something that is very interesting here in the text. He says, go and see no more. I'm going to read, see, you are well now again. Stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. What can be worse than being ill for 38 years, I wonder? Sin is worse than anything. The, way, the wages of sin is death, says Paul. And Jesus came to give us eternal life. And eternal life is on the other side. It's opposite to eternal death. Eternal separation from God. That's worse than being ill for 38 years isn't it? So G grace that saves and that changes us is the grace that gives us the, the strength not to fall in this deep well that leads us nowhere, I mean nowhere good, called sin. Grace came us to set us free and that's what Jesus is doing to this man and I pray that uh, our heart will be ho holy uh, devoted to him who came to give us eternal life, who came to heal our body, our soul, and our spirit.